but there's no one here. I mean, I don't blame them. You know, it's 60 kilometers from the lodge. You've got to drive a few miles off road on sand where you get stuck. It's not easy to find because they say there's markers, but there's no markers, but God, it's gorgeous. Walking around the dunes in the dawn light is incredible. It's so difficult to see the shapes and judge distances, but it's such an experience. It's about half an hour before sunrise and the sun is gonna rise over there to the east. And we're just walking around this vast landscape of white dunes, desperately looking for compositions. And Compared with yesterday, the wind has just completely dropped off, which is often what happens in the mornings. Just before sunrise, everything always seems so calm. So we're taking full advantage of this. But for now, we really need to find a composition. I'm really struggling here. Last night it felt so much easier, there was gorgeous light and although it was windy, really, really windy, which was a struggle, we had really good dunes to work with. We could see the shapes and the textures of the lights, but this morning everything looked so flat and the dunes, they just, I think the best of the dunes might be back that way. Oh, but that's too far to go now, so we're committed. And besides, because of the direction we've walked, the problem is, with every step you take forward, you're really committing yourself. Anything this way is gonna have our footprints on. Yeah, this is a challenge, this is a real challenge. And I do not have much time. So the sun's up now and the wind's picking up, but I've got the long lens on and I'm picking out wonderful shapes and textures in the sands from miles away. I'm shooting at just over 300 mil. And when you look through the viewfinder at this focal length, like the patterns and the abstract shapes that you pick up are phenomenal. So this is really nice photography to practice. It's just simple, focus to infinity, and then just pick out the different shapes. And when you actually look through the lens, you see so much. There are miles and miles of dunes to explore. I'm just gonna take this image, F11, shield it from the wind. That's the way the light plays off the landscape is phenomenal. So I've been driving south for hours now from Swakopmund to Sosusfle and the landscape's incredible. Just miles upon miles of vast empty space. 
white sands as far as the eye can see. Dead straight roads with no corners. A completely barren and windswept landscape. Um, it's actually getting me quite excited because I really enjoy minimalist photography. Those sand dune images I got this morning and yesterday were just perfect because there was no distractions and the landscape that we're in at the minute there's just nothing so obviously I've never been to Sosa's Flay or Dead Flay and I haven't seen too many images from there. I haven't done too much research on purpose um, so I'm very excited as to what is awaiting me um, so quick lunch break here and then another couple of hours and we should be there so I'm very very much looking forward to this Driving for hours across such varied terrain. We went from white sand to jagged rock through a lush canyon gorge. It's just the scenery in Namibia is incredibly diverse and it changes so, like instantly it changes, it's fantastic. But after a long day, we've made it to Sossus Vlei. And we are currently in Dead Vlei. Or should I say, we are looking for Deadlay because there is some very helpful signage at the car park saying follow markers but there aren't any markers This is just absolutely stunning. But seriously though, how the heck am I gonna make an image here? This looks very, very difficult. There are lots of trees and every time you think you can see something and you move into position, another tree gets in the way. Um, I haven't really had a proper look yet, but my first impressions are that this is gonna be difficult, All right? Let's have a look around. So I've found the composition that I absolutely love. And it's these trees here. Let's get out of the way. This tree here. This tree here, surrounded by the smaller trees in the background, this is so dominant, but the light, you can see the light moving up the red sand in the background is moving so fast. So, ew. it'll probably be better without the shadow, I must admit, but this is gorgeous. It's the white sand and it's the long lens compressing the scene. I mean, what are we at here? 135 mil. And it's, again, simple composition. I'm focusing on this tree because this main tree here, here, this one, <laughs> that's my subject. That tree is my subject. That's what I'm focusing on. I'm not worrying too much about the rest. And it's so peaceful. Do you know there's no one else here? Just me and George. And I don't even know where George is, if I'm honest. It's around, knocking around somewhere. But there's no one here, nobody. I mean, I don't blame them. It's, you know, it's 60 kilometers from the lodge. You've got to drive a few miles off road on sand where you get stuck. It's not easy to find because they say there's markers, but there's no markers. But God, it's gorgeous. Oh, for once, I'm not freezing to death, which is nice. So what I'm actually going to do is because I'm here, I haven't got time to find another composition. So I'm just going to let that light drift up the dune and I'm gonna to continue to take images. I often say this, people ask me if I go to a location, do I really only take one image? Well, yes, quite often I do, not always, but often I do. 
But what I actually do is I take the same image as the light changes. And that's especially good to do when you're in an area that's brand new that you've never been to, that you don't know how the light works. So we, ha we have digital technology, take full advantage. So I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy this gorgeous peace and quiet, watch the light move up the dune, take my images, and then I'm just gonna have a cold beer and choose the best one. You tell me a better way to do photography. <sighs> Amazing.